Thank you all very much. This is a very warm welcome, and I'm making very proud. I appreciate you coming out here on this day. I'm looking forward to meeting the big basketball team. I know they had a few time week, and yesterday it seems that somebody didn't win one for the Gipper. <laughs> I know that we're expected for a, a meeting over in the gap of here. Now you're saying somebody saying just say no. Well, that's what happened. That's what Nancy let me come down here to talk about, is just say no. I don't know whether you'd be interested in knowing where that came from, but Nancy was appearing before a group of students, students like yourself, and a girl in the audience spoke up and said, what do we do when someone offers us drugs? And Nancy said, just say no. And today there are over 10,000 just say no cubs from schools and campuses across the country. Oh. I can't hear what they're saying. Well, I know that I've got to move on and get over to the forum and the meeting on this subject that I just mentioned. But again, I just want to tell you this. Very heartwarming. You make me very proud of me, and I'm proud to be deserving of this warm welcome. Thank you very much. organizations throughout North Carolina, state government has already developed a program to address substance abuse.
through confidential consultation and assessment and referral. The state EAP assists in identifying and confronting employees who may have work performance problems and then provides an organized approach. The confidential statistical evaluation of the first 300 referrals indicates that 73% of those employees using this service have returned to satisfactory job performance. That's good. That's great. leading government officials, this bipartisan group has built cooperation between state agencies, thereby eliminating program duplication, of course, maximizing the efficient use of resources. Statewide, I established the Governor's Council on Alcohol and Drug Abuse Among Children and Youth by executive order on January 29, 1986. This council supports education and prevention and treatment programs to reduce alcohol and drug abuse pro problems among children and youth and helps develop legislative programs and public existing within the internal organization of government and business and civic organizations. I propose to you that we pool our knowledge as we've done today, pool our knowledge and resources, share our experiences, and develop a safe...
you, Governor Jim Martin. Thank you for that great music for the Duke University College. And today, I'm visiting the home of Coach K's Duke Blue Devils. drugs in the workplace, as you've been doing. As I mentioned, earlier today, I had the... Like so many Americans, we watched with greater and greater apprehension during the years when too much of our media and too many of our cultural and political leaders sent out the message that using illegal drugs was okay. Well, thank God those days are over. A few weeks ago, we learned that America's students are saying no as never before. For 13 years, we have conducted annual surveys of thousands of graduating seniors in high schools across our country. What drugs have they used? How often? What do they think about drug abuse? Since the surveying began, a substantially smaller proportion of high school seniors, one-third smaller, acknowledged current use of cocaine than did the year before. Use of marijuana and amphetamines is also dropping. And at the end of the workplace. Now, in a professional basketball court, it may seem like a long way from the average officer factory. But as I heard those personal stories before I came out here, I couldn't help thinking how similar they were to a story about drugs in the workplace that I was planning to tell you. A few years ago, here in millions of a great career squandered on drugs. Today, David Thompson is pulling his life together. We all pray for his success. And he has this warning. In his words, you never feel like you're going to be the one to get hooked, he says. And he added, it, and it's very hard to get out of it. David Thompson was an extraordinary athlete, but an all too typical on the job of drug user. Injury and accident prone you don't want to work around someone who gets high during the day. Perhaps because drug users act the way they tell researchers they feel. They don't want to be at work, period. One other thing, as I heard firsthand today, when it's all over, drug users look back on the wreckage of their careers and their lives. Like David Thompson, their advice is never, never try.